Meanwhile, uh, local homeless people in Jamestown, New York, um, we're told uh, likely uh, could have uh, been involved in an abandoned factory fire today. Of course, there is an investigation out tonight. Justin Gold with our news partner, WNY News Now, has more on that investigation into the blaze, which officials say could have been much worse. Concerns surrounding the rising homeless population in Jamestown continue, with investigators suspecting an early morning factory fire was started by homeless or vagrants seeking shelter from the elements. Around 7 this morning, the Jamestown Fire Department responded to the old Crawford Furniture Atlas Division factory at 52 Windsor Street. The former warehouse was closed and partially demolished in 2015 following a roof collapse. When crews arrived on scene, they discovered a small section of the first floor of that building completely engulfed in flames, possibly started by a campfire or bonfire. It's just a pretty dangerous building, so we were very careful to make entry, and it was a smaller fire, and small, about a 10 by 10 foot section, the flooring was on fire. So. It took crews about two hours to contain the flames. While the fire is still under investigation, preliminarily, it looks like the blaze was started by an unauthorized occupant of the abandoned building. In the past few months, we've seen an increase in homeless gatherings under bridges and places like the railroad viaduct on Main Street in downtown Jamestown. While police ask them to disperse, officials say the solution is not as simple as just moving people out. Currently, the city is working with the county's homeless coalition to help support the population here locally. There are also plans in the works to build two new shelters downtown, which could provide temporary housing for those in need. Reporting in Jamestown, New York, Justin Gould, WNY News Now.